Hello dreamers, how are you doing? This is not a regular video. Today I'm not going to give you any information regarding the Express Entry program or the Australian immigration. But this video is going to be very important because I'm going to raise a very important question in this video. Now this is a doubt in my mind. I'm not blaming anyone, but still this is a very important doubt. Is IDP India or British Council actually making IELTS a money making machine for them? Are they deliberately cutting down your scores so that you can actually reappear for the exam and give them more money? So this is the question that I want to raise through this video. Now this is just a thought in my mind. I want to know about your views. I'm not blaming them. Of course I have no evidence and you know nobody can actually blame them. But this is just a thought in my mind. Why it came up? It was actually two, two years ago in 2016 when I gave my IELTS exam. I scored 6.5 in uh, writing. I had to appear again, of course pay the full amount of uh, fee and reappear for the exam. Now I scored 7 bands and I was able to immigrate to Canada. So when it happened with me, I thought it's just a normal thing, you know, I might be lacking something in my uh, writing skills, I practiced more and I got good score. But when I actually saw this thing happening with my friends, friends of friends and now I see so many of you actually commenting in my Facebook uh, group and also the YouTube comment section. It's not a secret for anyone. If you score CLB 9, which means you know 777 in each of these sections, apart from uh, listening, which should be 8, we actually get you know 45 points or you know something like that added to our uh, CRS score. It's a drastic change in your CRS score suddenly. Similar is the case with Australia. We get 10 additional points for uh, scoring 7 in each of the uh, IELTS sections. Everybody is aware and the British Council and the IDP India of course would be aware of the same fact. Now the other point to notice is that this problem is actually in the speaking and the writing section. Of course the other two are the uh, objective types, right? You have to give the answers in one word or in multiple words. So it would be more easier for them to manipulate the scores in these two sections. Now this was just a thought in my mind that I thought I should discuss with you. So I would request you to please comment if this has happened with you or with your friends as well. Also, I'm not very sure, you know, similar things happen in the academic section of files or not because I've only been through general and, you know, I get in touch with only those people who are, you know, who have appeared for the general test. So if you feel similar things have happened with you or your friends in the academic section or in the general section, please comment down below. Do you think that actually IDP India or British Council actually do it deliberately or do you think that you know they would never play such games? I really want to know your views. What do you think about it? Is it a thought only in my mind or there are many people out there who think the similar way? Whatever is in your mind, please write down in the comment below and I would definitely try to address it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm really expecting a comment from you. Whatever your thought is, if you think uh, they're actually making it a business, a money making machine, or if you think otherwise as well, please do comment and let me know. Also, all those people who haven't subscribed my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe it right now.